Hey there, YouTubers. So we're back in the RC shop right now, and for good and bad, I finished my figure's head. Got him looking good. But anyway, I got my mask out of model master hobby lobby and uh these i picked up Michelle's michael's crafts. crafts but that but we're we're servo winching today the reason is uh the umg 10 reveal is not going to be the reveal at the end of the video i'll show you the reason the paint had a bad reaction so um i've already got the reedy servo I've got everything to compart. There's two screws down in here, one on each side. That pulls your potentiometer and this whole thing. All that motor and everything will pop out. I've not to leave your sticker on the front. It'll help keep everything together for now. We'll get right back to that here in just a second. So what we've got is this is not a really the prime candidate. This board solder on what you want to find in a servo. It's got the two motor wires that come off come off of your motor. But some, a lot of them, not all of them, but some have this board out on. So X, X there. So if you could see what happened. The board burned out. These little diodes. Let's see. Focus. Right there. Right in the middle. Anyway, they've got a they've got a burnt spot in so we're going to try to get this motor and we're getting rid of all this board we don't we're not going to use this anymore we're done with it potentiometer then we're going to take this part i'm going to see if i can get this motor loose i've got everything heated up we'll see what we can do here i want to kind of get where you guys can see but i might have to uh Yeah, I might have to see if I can pop this up, put a little pressure here. So. Anyway. Let me get right back to you. I'm going to see if I can desolder the motor wire or where the motor leads is soldered into this board. It looks like it might have some right there. So, all right, let me get right back here and see what we can do. All right, I got it. Now, it took me a minute. I ain't going to lie, but this is what you want. red of course your polarity is not really going to matter because you can switch it on your on the radio or it'll be backwards on your switch either way either way i don't, don't want to fuse anybody with none of that anyway i'm going to use jst i'm going to attempt to solder what i'm going to do you're going to take your jst your connector of choice red little red dot solder so I'm gonna attempt to solder them on and that's let me make sure I get the right the male to the female and then we'll get right back I'm not sure what I was using in the enduro so hold on right there we'll go check it out
Anyway, that's what you want right there. And we're gonna test, we just wanna make sure this motor's still working before we put everything back. All right, we use the female, just so you know, so you can plug your, whatever you're doing, but pay attention to, let's see if this, this is 7.4 LiPo. Woo! Got some Jacron Judge. All right, let's take a look at this uh, other side of the servo. All right, now I've pulled the top cover off the Reedy Servo to come in my uh, Enduro. So, it's got a bushing. I'm gonna go see if I can find another bearing. I'm gonna pop it in there. Uh, I think I do have another FY3 bearings. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll fit that. But what, we're, what we're looking for is this limiter. <clears throat> so they've got a limiter. I said, this is the top of your servo. Looks like they got plenty of grease. So you see, it's got some grease on it. There we go. Whoop. Whoa. Check that for dirt. I may add a little more grease to this. Anyway, y'all are wanting to see. I'm gonna and the whole thing messed up here in just a second. So right here, this little guy right here. We gotta pull that out and then we're gonna put everything back together. So anyway, I just grabbed it, my needle nose pliers. I popped it right out of there. So I'm gonna go in the house and I'll be right back. Yeah, after about 30 minutes and 10 different tries, I found a spectrum bearing that fit right in there. So all we're gonna do, I'm gonna put everything back together. I'm gonna put our motor in the back. I'll go ahead and put this cap on. You just wanna line her up. I was not wanting to line up. Take that gear. Go ahead and put it on. Like so. Now. Can we line her up? All right, that's it. It just got, it takes a little bit of them two pins in there. Sometimes they're hard to line up. But anyway, it's the part we all been waiting on. Except y'all want to see the UMG-10. Why it's not the body to show today. But let's test this out. 7.4 LiPo. See. Woo! And then if we want to go the other way, just plug it in backwards. But anyway. Servo winch. 
This one's going in the Enduro, and I'm taking what the one I got in the Enduro, and I'm going to put it in the UMG. It's a lot lighter. So, Reedy, full metal gear servo winch. That's going to be coming on too. So here you go. Like, subscribe, comment down below. You know what to do. Hit that bell. Hit that like button. The Reedy Servo is going right here. And this is a, a Red Cat Servo. All plastic gear. Uh, plastic case. It's all up fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I just want the lighter version in my UMG-10. So now you can hit that bell. If you got any questions, like, subscribe. We run the dual ESCs in here to the third channel. I've run down my radio and stuff before, but we'll get on that. I'm going to go run this for a video later on in the week. So stay tuned.